Yes, Dr. Sanjay. So, after reading the diction of poetry, the learners may face a kind of a simple question, mm -hmm. like, uh, what do we mean by diction? Mm -hmm. And while well, throwing some light on this, if you will throw some more light on uh, often controversial aspect of Wordsworthian poetic diction, it will be quite interesting one. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Bharat, uh, see, in general, poetic diction means choice of words. Mm -hmm. A choice of words which then lends a unique style for each individual poet or author. How a particular poet chooses his or her own language and then how he places and plays around with that. In that sense, Wordsworth, if you remember, when he published lyrical ballads for the first time in 1798 he offered that anthology as an experiment okay. and uh, he said that he is not really satisfied by what goes on in the name of poetry obviously he was attacking the neoclassical mode of writing poetry and in the preface uh, he mentions that that way of writing, that diction was inane, that was highly unnecessarily ornamental, erudite okay. and consequently this, this erudition was only limited to city dwellers. Again the distinction between the country life, con life in the countryside and the city dwellers that the romantics seem to be having a quarrel with mm -hmm. the city life. Yes. We find the educational institutions all in the city mm. and the neoclassical people all they were wits of the city mm -hmm. and whereas so Wordsworth is taking a kind of an argument a cudgel okay. against them. Now he then says that he is interested in writing these poems in lyrical ballads in the language as really used by men. Okay. Now you mentioned very mm -hmm. rightly that it, this is very controversial. Okay. Who raised the controversy first and foremost? His own friend, one time friend, good friend, mm -hmm. Coleridge. Okay. In Biographia Literaria, mm -hmm. there is an extensive section of Coleridge's disagreement mm -hmm. with Wordsworth's poetic diction okay. where he actually questions that my dear friend Wordsworth what do you actually mean by language really used by men mm -hmm. which men what reality which real men okay. implying that are the people who are erudite city dwellers not real men mm -hmm. <laughs> now Wordsworth has uh, 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 an answer in the preface. He says that he finds humble and rustic life, mm -hmm. the humbleness in countryside life, okay. the, the rustic life, to be with emotions which are more genuine. And therefore, he is trying to capture in the words really used by men in the countryside, rustic men, in their diction, mm -hmm. their emotions. Okay which he finds to be closer to reality, closer, not reality, but close, closer to more, more, more genuineness. Okay. He finds mm. that more genuine. Probably city dwellers are more artificial. Yeah, exactly. So that is what he finds. Now this is a thing, again, what we are discussing, the controversy of Wordsworth's poetic diction is that often we find that he himself does not uh, strictly adhere yes. to that kind of addiction in his, in his own poems. Okay. Coleridge has a very interesting example and we can end this discussion with that example. There is a famous poem by Wordsworth called Michael. Okay. Now, Michael is a farmer. Mm -hmm. Now Coleridge says, fine, you have selected a farmer mm -hmm. as your topic as uh, your focus in the poem. But is Michael the farmer we find as every farmer or is he an exceptional okay. farmer? Mm 
Because the poem itself mentions that Michael is around 80 years old, he is hale and hearty and he mm-hmm. is uh, amidst nature. And Now this is something a person of 80 years old, hale and hearty amidst nature at that age need not be true with everybody who lives in the countryside. Yes. So you are selecting again somebody exclusive. You are not talking about real life as real in the sense that happens with everyone. And therefore, neither your choice is real men, nor the diction or language, truly speaking, what you say is really used yeah. by those men. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.